Well, I headed back up to old Chuck Swan, Sharp's Chapel. Here we are on the road, headed back up to look for some of this history. Been doing some research. Now, here's Sharp's Chapel if you know nothing about it. It's in Union County, Tennessee, a big old peninsula surrounded by a lake by three sides, North Lake. Now, I stopped here at Mainerville, the Union County Museum and Genealogical Library. Now, these are some nice people. You need to find any of your people and any of your genealogy. This is the place to go for Union County. Really nice place. And I've done as much research as I could here for hours. Now, here's a picture of North Lake. What we'll be at is Lost Creek here on the peninsula. On the left side, you see Lawson Sea, and on the right side, Lost Creek. Now, Lawson Sea is just the opposite end of Lost Creek. It looks like an ocean there. It's a mile across it. And that's where Lawson was when the lake took it. Ran over, running under the water. Now, Lost Creek, what we'll be talking about is this little area right here in the egg. This little part. Now, right here is the place that is a big mystery to me. I've done a lot of research, but I can't really find out nothing about the place definitely. I may be wrong, and I may be dead on, but I don't know. But I'm going to share what I do know about. Now, here's a more closer map. of the very hip tip of Lost Creek, right where the spring comes in, called Johnson Holler. This is where the dam is. This is where the little lake used to be, the, sp the spring that feeds it. And they, between the two, there is an old mill there that is called John Barry and James Peter's Mill. And I found that. That's no problem. Here's a picture of it. What's left of it? Just the old foundation. And what I'm thinking is, it's just an old tub mill at one time. Nothing left but a foundation here at this little spring. Spring's about a quarter mile above it. Just a little old bitty mill operated at one time. You can see the, there's just nothing left of it, just a foundation. And I'd say, see, this is not this is not a picture of it, but it probably looks something like this. What they call the little bitty, little tub mills and stuff. They was little operations, nothing major, not like the big mills. But this is about what it looked like. And right across the road from it, there, right behind me, the little old house. Been abandoned a long time. Don't know how old it is, but there it is. Now just below us, almost a mile below this house and this old old tub mill used to be up there. We're down here at the dam. Now I don't know for sure what sit here, but it was a lake. This dammed up a little lake, I guess before Norse Lake. But I'm gonna share the pictures of it here that I took of this place walking around. I can't confirm it is a meal here at all, or if it was, I may be dead on. But I'm thinking maybe this might be the site for the James Rice Mill off of Lost Creek. This looks like where the paddle wheel used to sit right there. That's looking towards North Lake. I walked all around it here filming it. You can see the old structure at the bottom, handmade with rock. And it, it, it's been upgraded on top of it, it looks like. Newer cement put on it, rails. Now, if this was the James Wright's mill, they took it down, the CCCs did, when they was uh, building the lake in 1935. 
You can just see the old structure here. If this is where it's set, nobody can give me a definite answer. All the elders and really people that know is gone on to see the Lord. It's so hard to find this old history. And this is back in the back of it, standing down in the lake itself, behind it, what it dam up. You see the structure here. See the old rock and under it, the original dam. And then somebody has put more modern cement over top of it as time went on. That looks like a drain valve. Got rebar in it. But this is before they built North Lake. So it is pre prior to 1935. And them old rocks on the bottom, I don't doubt that ain't 1700s, 18, early 1800s. But I'm just panning around what it damned up. Old structure. And the Lost Creek Spring comes right down and through here. Now, research says that the rice, the James Rice Mill, when it set on Lost Creek, it was severely damaged in uh, <clears throat> 1874 by a bad storm, flash flood or something. May have washed part of this dam out. And you could see the new construction they put to reinforce it and repair it, the new concrete. If I'm right, this is where she sit, but I, you can't get a definite answer. Now, this is a picture of the old mill itself on Lost Creek. It was run down through the Rice family. A James Rice first run it, then a George Rice, then a Henry Rice and a Rufus Rice, and he was the last to run it in 1935 before the lake took it. They took it apart and moved it to North Dam Lake Park State, or Park there. Here it is. They reconstructed it. And all they can tell me is it was on Lost Street. Like to the... They say it's under the lake. Some say it ain't, they don't know, but there it is. They did do a good job of refurbishing it, and they're still keeping it going. So, a lot of mystery behind this stuff. The people that really know, they passed on. So, this is hard history to really pinpoint. Now, the original first rice come in here was a Henry Rice. He come down out of Virginia, and he's buried here, right here in the Lost Creek Cemetery. He lived to be 101 years old, born in 1717, and died here in Lost Creek in 1818. He spent a long life. So he, they must have been a family of mill, you know, grist mill makers. And he started probably out when he come down here with his son to Jane. And here's some history on Henry. I reckon he had a, a mill up in Virginia. And here's a, a marker up there in Virginia where they fought Indians. And just after that, he come down here into Lost Creek and spent the rest of his life. Now these old mills, they use stuff like this. This is the grindstone. This is not the actual grindstone, but this is what they look like. And this is how they work. This is just a drawing I made, just to give you a glimpse of how they work, how the gears and turn operation. Now I've got a picture here. This is one I got from, this is uh, from Cage Cove. 
This is the gable meat. They got it back to running. I'll show this. I'll do a video on this later. This is just the paddle wheel on it. And this is how they done their corn. Put it in a hopper. Goes down in there. Pours down in between them grindstones. See it falling down in there. And they just grind it to a pulp. A powder. This is how they get their the cornmeal. They can make the flour. Now this old place is nice. They fixed it up nice and it's still in operation, but it's down a lot because of the season right now. Now, they can't give me a definite answer on this. It's on Lost Creek. What well, Lost Creek's by the crow flies is four miles long. That's a long creek. And if you stretch it out, it's probably six miles long. It's a curvy down through there. So is this where the mill sit? What gives it away is it's been repaired on top of it. And they said they had a bad storm in 1874. It was built in 1790 and it run till 1835. That's just some of the history I can give you on it. I'll do more research. But you see a lot of these old pictures here. There's so much history here Sharps Chapel, like they are all over the place in these Appalachians, not just here, but this history is slowly going away. In a few generations, who will remember? Who will remember this stuff? It needs to be passed on. And I'm trying to share it best I can. So much history. Here's another video, a future video. This is old Highway 33 here. The old original road. And I, I sketched in here how the road originally run. It's under the lake. Since 1935. Now here's something. No matter how things change, some things stay the same. I took this picture here just a few weeks ago. Standing right here on this road, Chuck Swan Road, Sharp Chapel, the curb. Look here. Here's the same picture in 1935. Hasn't changed much, has it? Not much at all. And here's a picture of the town of Lawiston that's under the lake, the opposite end of Lost Creek, right where Big Ridge is. Old picture. Uh, it's all under the lake. It's history. So I hope you enjoyed this. There's so much history to share and so many stories to tell here in these mountains that I can only do one piece at a time. So I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. God bless, and I'll see you next time.